Hello everyone, as you can see I am in the bedroom and I'm just about to go through my wardrobe and declutter my wardrobe. This is a very long overdue thing. Currently I have got all of my clothes in my wardrobe which is not ideal because before we moved I did a video where I decluttered my wardrobe and I actually ended up with only like 30 items I think think in my wardrobe and I'll link it up here if you're interested in watching that video. I actually really preferred having just the clothes that I needed, seasonal clothes, so I'm going to try to kind of do a capsule wardrobe and put away all of my summer clothes until summer. So, currently don't know where I'm going to put those clothes. I don't think I'm going to be trying things on in this video, so I may or may not end up with a maybe pile to try on at a later date, which I'm not going to record myself doing, but I will let you know what I end up getting rid of. So, let's get to it because this is long overdue. And as you can tell, I have come down with some sort of respiratory infection. So my throat's a little bit sore, so do excuse me if I don't talk very much in this video. And I'll show you what I'm getting rid of, what I'm going to be storing away, and what is left in my wardrobe. But I probably won't speak too much in this video because my throat is quite sore, and my nose is a little bit nasally, and I just feel a little bit rotten. So it's actually Tuesday today, usually I record my videos on a Monday but yesterday I felt a lot worse yesterday than I feel today and so I took it upon myself to listen to my body and just rest so I'm having to record this today so Dexter may or may not be upstairs in a minute but we'll see how this goes. Hello! I see you! <laughs> Right, Mummy's got a big, big, big task today. I'm going to put all of my clothes on Daddy's bed. Apart from what's in these boxes down here, I'm just going to move this across and do this a bit later. <laughs> I did just realise that I should have showed you what my wardrobe looked like before. I always forget in my videos to do this, so I do apologise, but I've just taken all of the clothes out. So there's that, that, there's all these clothes down here, there's a little pile of clothes there, there's a whole box of shoes there and other things that need sorting through there. The, the drawers there which I haven't emptied yet. I've just put three pairs of jeans in there because they're the only jeans I own and I do like all of them so I've just put those in there and I'm gonna carry on just sorting through what I need to sort through and then yeah I'll show you how much better the wardrobe will be looking but hopefully you saw from a distance how rammed and a complete mess it was. So I've got you all on the smaller tripod now because I need to sit down. I cannot do this standing up. So I'm just going to try and find a place where you'll be able to hopefully see what I'm doing. I'm going to sit here and hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Right. You do not know what I have in mind. Our bags will be on our way This is why I've been putting my wardrobe off for so long Because I, I feel like it's a really difficult area to do And you have to make a big mess before you start to see <laughs> Excuse me uh, Thank you 
I feel I do apologize as well if my face is like really bright hopefully it won't be too bright in the video but it's because I've got you in the window I feel like you have to make a mess with decluttering your wardrobe and um that's why I've been putting it off because it's a huge 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 task as long as I waited without a sign I know what matters Matters to you But what do you want? What's your biggest need? Every hour we spend together And suddenly The chances are small Just like the lottery I've got Dexter's clothes in here as well, so I have no idea why. I'm just going to take these through to Dexter's room because they're his. <laughs> and I don't know why they're in here amongst my clothes. You're welcome. Oh, I've got that stuck in my head now. <sighs> it's been 72 weeks in this town. I still believe I'll see you again. I'm struggling a bit <laughs> to decide if there's anything I want to get rid of so I'll show you what I've done so far because I don't feel I haven't actually like got rid of anything yet I feel there is a pair of leggings down here that are far too tight for me which is funny because I think they were maternity leggings but um they they're like really tight and I don't know if they've just shrunk in the wash or what but they're definitely too tight so I think I'm going to get rid of those and I'm going to show you what I've done. I've got quite a bit of like stuff that needs to go in the wash so um, I think like I'm going to have to do another wardrobe declutter when I've washed like some things because there's some things need to go be put away for summer. I definitely have more of a summer wardrobe than I do a winter wardrobe which is like mad. My winter wardrobe is made up just of like mainly jumpers and jackets so I'll show you 
just now like what it's looking like hanging up we've got like coats jackets it's really hard to put my wardrobe in some sort of color order by the way so it always looks really messy because i do have quite a lot of colorful clothing but so i've got jackets jumpers um two shirts a few dresses and four pairs of jeans oh 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 i'm falling over everything <laughs> sorry i don't know if you actually saw that but yeah i've got like jackets there's no way i wear all of these jackets but like i'm finding it really difficult to think of which ones I want to actually get rid of because I do really like them but I'm just going to see which ones I wear in the next few weeks before it starts getting warm jumpers, two shirts, four dresses I think and four pairs of jeans and then my underwear drawer is really messy and needs sorting out so I'm not really going to show you that one properly in here I've just got one, two, three, four pairs of leggings a t-shirt, a long sleeve t-shirt and two vests but I do have more and I think they're in the wash so and I just haven't got round to doing much washing yet and then this is my pyjama drawer which is like lots of and loungewear and stuff so just like shirts and trousers and stuff I need to go through this box which has got shoes in and some other random stuff that I just need to go through and then this whole pile here right all of this here this whole like pile here is mainly summer clothes and obviously my Mickey Mouse pajamas are there because they I want to put them up in the Christmas box I think but all of this is summer clothes which I need to store somewhere so i'm just gonna figure that out in a minute because i don't want summer stuff in my wardrobe it's a lot easier and then i've got a little pile of clothes here that is my mum's so i'm gonna give her them back she lent them to me when i was like feeling fat and uncomfortable <laughs> so she lent those to me i'm gonna give them her back and so yeah i feel I feel like my wardrobe isn't too cluttered actually. I do need to go through that box up there and that um, bag up there which I'm going to get down in a minute and do that but I just need to figure out where I'm going to put all this summer stuff. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. And how is it that the, the wardrobe gets really dusty inside? I could do with giving it a good clean. So, I'm going to attempt to go through this box of shoes because I want to get rid of the box really and just have the shoes in the cupboard. But I think, oh, just excuse, I've got stuff everywhere at the moment that's not meant to be. And I've got some of your shoes in here, Dexter, as well. Yeah. These, they don't fit you anymore though. What are they? They're sandals, but they don't fit you anymore. And these, these don't fit you anymore, but these, <laughs> we only wore them once, like on his birthday, once or twice. I oh, know. And I think they're so cute. Should we keep these for another baby? These rocket dogs I bought last year and they just need wearing in properly. Because I do like them. What the rocket dogs? They're just shoes, shoes they're called they're rocket dogs. Shoes. They're just shoes, Bubba. But I need to wear them in. The wearing in process hurts, doesn't it? And I can't yeah. get past that sometimes. I've got these boots that I should probably like either wear or get rid of. Have you ever worn them yet? Well, I've obviously wore them because they're dirty on the bottom. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put them in here, as in where I can see them, where they're not in a box. And then I could be like, ah, oh, okay. Like, I'll wear those today, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And if I don't wear them, then I'll get rid of them. And the same with, like, my rocket dogs. I want to wear these. I need all of these shoes out where I can see them, really. These are obviously not going to be worn until summer, but I wear these every year. I can still hear us singing. These though, I think I'm going to get rid of because they blooming kill and I'm not wearing them ever again probably. These I don't feel like I've ever really worn the, I've worn them obviously, but I don't feel like I'm wearing them again. Let's get rid of those. All these years together and I remember each and every day. 
these I could probably sell. Tom's. Yeah. Just they hurt my feet. Like they really hurt my feet. These are summer shoes. They're summer shoes. They need storing and they need selling. And I can get rid of the box. Woohoo! Okay, shoes is a difficult area, guys. I've thrown over two pairs of shoes to go to charity. One pair of shoes that I'm going to sell because these, I've had them for years, but they really hurt my feet. So, and I don't really want to keep shoes that hurt my feet. So, I mean, I've had these for a long, 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 long time. And um, I've probably only worn them like two or three times and they hurt my feet. So they are going to get sold. These are a pair of Dexter shoes which I'm going to put up to store because <laughs> really, they're really cute. And if I have another boy then, or a girl. Who says girls can't wear blue dinosaur shoes? Nobody, huh? Right. And then I've got some summer shoes here, which I don't know whether to just keep them in my wardrobe or store them with my summer stuff. I might just put them in this bit that's under here. I feel like in comparison to most women, my shoe collection isn't too bad. I definitely don't wear them all, but because they've been in a box, and I haven't been able to see them. I'm going to keep them for a little while longer, these ones. I'm getting rid of three pairs, so that's good for me. But I'm going to keep these ones, see if I wear them. And if I don't, I will get rid of them. These ones are going to be sold, so I'm going to put them up here because they need to be sold. And there's two pairs going to charity and a pair of Dexter's going to charity too. So I don't think I'm doing too bad. In here I've got just some makeup and stuff but I don't even wear makeup so I'm probably just going to get rid of that because it's probably years old. I'll probably do that another day when I go through that other, there's a couple of like things over there that I need to go through. So I've just got all of my summer stuff that I need to store and I need to go through those two boxes up there which I'm dreading. Now I look like I've been electrocuted. <laughs> I'm going to attempt, attempt to get these, this like suitcase and this box down. I don't think, I don't think I'm going to be able to reach it. Oh, I got it. Woohoo. <laughs> Still want to kiss you, desperately kiss you. These two shirts though, I think I'm definitely, well this one was my mum's, so I'm probably going to ask her whether she wants that back and if she doesn't then she can get rid of it because it is hers and this one I'm pretty sure this one was my mum's as well so I'm gonna put those there and ask her if she wants them back these are my dad's So I'm going to give those back to my mum as well and see if, if she wants them back. So yeah, this is a, this is a box that I want to try on. Okay, it's heavy. <laughs> this one's going to be the worst one to go through because it's full of clothes that were my favourite clothes before Dexter was born. I was just saying to Ben how much I've struggled since since having Dexter to like find my style. Like I don't I don't know like what clothes suit me anymore or what sort of things I want to wear anymore or what I look good in anymore since I had a baby. I don't know if that's like a normal thing or not. So let me know in the comments if you've struggled with that as well. I'll be right back. I apologise. Dexter was super grumpy. I've just got him off to sleep. And now I'm going to go through this bag of clothes. My old clothes. I'm going to go through this bag and see if there's anything I can bring myself to part with. I do apologise for being so quiet. But I don't want to wake him up. <laughs> I think I'm just going to pop 
all of these clothes into this box and I'm going to see if I can try them on at some point and then all of my um, summer summer stuff I'm going to see if I can fit in this suitcase so that I can just store it until summer but yeah a lot of this I think I'm just going to try it on and if it doesn't fit me I am actually going to part with it <laughs> think as well the only way you can really tell like if you like an item of clothing is to put it on and see how you look and feel in it so I have a lot of stuff to try on now but I'm gonna see over the next week or so I might just do it next Monday when Dexter's not home is just like try all my clothes on or Friday when my mum's here because she can entertain him while I'm upstairs I need to definitely just see what what fits me what i feel comfortable in and the like because i just ever since having dexter I have really struggled with what to wear what i like wearing and i've just i seem to have just like really struggled with it wait and see until i can have a bit more energy to try it all on and then I'll know definitely what I want to get rid of and what I want to keep. With that being said, I, I probably won't record myself trying it all on, but I will, um, unless that's something you're interested in, then let me know in the comments below, but otherwise I will let you know what I'm getting rid of either way, because a lot of it, like a lot of it does need to go really. I can't I can't keep all of it. Definitely happier with how my wardrobe feels at the moment with just my winter stuff in. Even though we're going into spring, it's still really, really, really cold here in the UK. So I'm just gonna wait until it starts warming up before I start like swapping out my wardrobe. And I'll probably record that whole process like me swapping it over on what I'm gonna keep out, what I'm gonna store away and what I'm gonna get rid of because I think decluttering your wardrobe is always going to be an ongoing thing because there's always going to be things that you have either grown out of you don't love so much anymore or that don't fit you anymore and things like that I think your wardrobe is like an ongoing process so there'll probably be quite a few videos of me revisiting my wardrobe because I need to revisit it definitely but I'm happy with the way that it is at the moment. Collection day for the charity bag is Wednesdays which is tomorrow but I think they come every Wednesday so I'm gonna wait and see if I can put a few more things in there and then I'll pop it out for them to just pick it up which is quite handy. I'm just gonna see if I can fit all of my summer stuff into this suitcase. surprised that I've been able to fit all of that in there so now all of my summer stuff is in here all the things that I need to try on and decide to get rid of is there and I think with me being able to see the stuff that I need to try on as well is gonna help encourage me to actually try it on and get rid of anything I need to get rid of so now I just need to figure out where to put this suitcase because I think I want to just store it in the wardrobe because I've got a lot of space down here I'm going to keep the hangers that um, I've taken like summer clothes off and then if I can get rid of any more hangers down the line then I'm going to get rid of them I'm just going to keep these ones for now because I do think I have more summer clothes than winter clothes. 
so I am just going to keep these for now and then in the future when I've decluttered more gone through my wardrobe several times I'll get rid of them I've got a load of hangers in Ben's wardrobe that I need to get rid of so I am going to get rid of those I'm going to actually put all of them in the dump box because Ben says he doesn't need them so if he doesn't need them I'm just going to get rid of those so I'm still a lot happier with how this is now looking I wish I'd have done a before so that you could see how bad it was but hopefully you could see it when the camera was over there. But yeah, it's looking so much better, at least I can actually see everything now and I can just go in and get what I need to get when I need to get it, which is great. I think that is pretty much it for this video. Um, I will revisit my wardrobe again, especially when um, I swap out all of my winter clothes for summer clothes. So when I do that, I will revisit my wardrobe again and see if there's anything else that I want to get rid of. Just to reiterate, in here, there is all of these hangers here and hangers down there. All of those are going to go in the dump box in a minute, so I'm getting rid of those. I'm going to sell one pair of shoes. I've got a little pile of clothes that belongs to my mum here. So they will be going back to my mum. And I've got a very small selection of clothes down here. Um, ignore the letters. The foam letters are not going, but these shoes, these like couple pairs of shoes and there's a couple pairs of, um, there's a vest and a pair of leggings there. All of those are gonna go to charity I know it's not much but hopefully I'll be get more once all of my washing is done as well and once I've gone through all of this and tried all of this on then there will definitely be more because I know that there are things in here that do not fit me but I just want to make sure that they don't fit me before I get rid of them the reason I kept them was to see if I could try and get back into them at some point and I have lost a little bit of weight and I would like to see if I can get back into any of them and if I can then if there's any I can get back into I will probably keep um, because they are clothes that I did love before I was pregnant depending on how good I look in them now because I probably don't look that great in a lot of them since having a baby I'm getting like a bit older now so I feel like I need to like change my style slightly and I just don't know what at the moment my style is which is really frustrating and the more I declutter my wardrobe I think the more I will feel comfortable with the clothes that I decide to keep hopefully and I'll probably be able to find more of like what my style actually is but at the moment I just don't know anymore like I don't know what I look and feel good in I just want clothes that I feel comfortable in and look okay in I've got a little box here that is De has got Dexter's clothes in so I need to take those through to Dexter's room but I'm gonna leave this video here for now and I will revisit my wardrobe when when the weather starts getting warmer, which probably will be in the next couple of weeks, hopefully, I'm very hopeful um, that spring is definitely on the way now. So hopefully when the warmer weather comes, I'll be able to revisit my wardrobe and get rid of more. A lot of my things as well at the moment are in the wash because I haven't had the energy to do a wash every day. And so I've got stuff that needs washing and I can go through that stuff as well. So yeah, just bear with me with the whole wardrobe thing and we'll get there in the end. But I'm definitely happier with how that is looking now. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.